Hey guys and welcome to the channel, I'm Zemore, the Dan DPS, and today we are talking about some exciting news from Dune Awakening and Funcom. Now if you don't know already, Funcom is over at Gamescon at the moment, and they have finally released some gameplay footage in terms of Dune Awakening. So we're going to talk about that today and take a quick look at it. But before we get into that, don't forget to leave a like, a comment and subscribe, it really helps me bring more content like you for this in the future. Either way guys, yeah. Let's see the excitement. So, first off, you can see that Dune Awaken has incredibly stunning visuals. Now, I'm going to say off the bat that this is not the most graphically intensive game I have ever seen in my life, but that doesn't matter. It looks like it looks clean. It looks amazing. Now, from what it's saying, you are going to hit Arrakis as a prisoner and crash land. I literally did say hit, didn't I? But here you're seeing this is in-game beta version footage and it looks very very clean very crisp i'm loving the aesthetic of the game you know it is very uh dune it's very you know the dune movies everything about it is just on point so far and i i think funcom have done a great great effort in bringing to life the desert now, obviously, we're not seeing everything, we're not seeing all the aesthetics, but you're seeing the vehicles, they look, well, so far, look absolutely amazing. I love that armor set that gets working. And the UI, you know, it's pretty standard, pretty uh, what you'd expect from this style of game. The vehicles seem to be functioning as they should. And this is a, a thing that's about to come up on the screen, is something that I wasn't sure they were going to have. The ability to climb. Now, climbing is absolutely fantastic in a game like this, because obviously you do have the ability to fly and have jetpacks in this game. So the fact that you can climb doesn't mean that you necessarily need to rely on that. We're seeing some stealth mechanics, some different weapon mechanics here. Everything looks pretty standard from what you'd expect from a dune game the hunter destroyer though looks very very appealing to me and you're seeing there that when you kill guys you can steal their blood for water now your bases this is obviously a player base that has been made i don't know if these are npcs that they've rigged up or is this, this is actually like the developers all playing together and figuring stuff out but you're, you're seeing the kind of things you can do together and Overall, I think it looks very clean and tidy. It's what I really love. I love this blueprint system. The fact that you don't need to build a base in one piece. You don't need to like plan it out in your head. You can literally pop a blueprint down and then just use the resources to finish it off and then customize it. And this is something I'm really interested in. The fact that you seem to be able to build your Ornithopter in pieces. Now, this leaves me to think that they're going to be customizable you're going to be able to change out different parts for different things and essentially you could have different types of ornithopters that do different things or have different capacities like the amount of players that can be on them the amount of weapons they can carry the different things they can go but in terms of what you're seeing here this looks stunning i i'm loving the fact that you can just fly over arrakis and see everything which we kind of expected and through like just the dynamic lighting it changes the atmosphere and the appearance of the map through you know the different lighting aspects and then we come to the different locations like here and uh, i'm in awe i am genuinely in awe and something that I find very difficult, and assumed would be very difficult for them to do, would be to bring Arrakis to life in a manner that would work. Because it's a big desert. It's one bio, a biome to exist. And from what I can see so far, through the architecture, through the different, uh, different houses that are going to exist in Dune, they're going to do a blinding job with that i i'm loving the look of this game already i'm loving everything that i'm seeing it is giving me the right vibes in the right place about dune now this is almost certainly the pvp aspects of the game and one of the things that i love about it is you can already see a different type of ornithopter there that is dropping a vehicle on top of that the vehicles that you've got now, I'm assuming the one with the big thing in the back was a spice harvester, but you're seeing there that you have tanks and all manner of different things. So this opens up another aspect of it, is what vehicles are we going to have? What different things are we going to be able to, to do with them? And 
Like, everything about this is just given me very good vibes. The fact that you can use the thumper to summon the big one, the the Shia Hood, and oh, I, I'm, I'm loving it. I am so hyped. I'm so up for this game. And the fact is, it's coming in early 2025. We are going to be seeing this game at the early end of next year, if all goes to plan. And I've been waiting for a game like this for a long time. I've said this before. I've said this before, when New World came out, I, I was so hyped and so ready for it, albeit that it ended up disappointing me quite severely. Diablo, same thing happened. There's been other other examples of that as well. I'm hoping this lives up to the expectation, and Funcom, so far, with different games that they've released, you know, Conan XLs is the main one that comes to mind, they've done really well. They've got a big community backing, and... I don't know anybody that has a particularly bad word to say against them. You know, they, they, their developers and their team seem to be incredibly passionate about this project. And I've had fun interacting with them, which quite often I don't get the chance to because, you know, they're all hiding away and, you know, under the umbrella of the company. So, yeah, I, I'm looking forward to this. I, I think this could be my number one game of 2025, but... We'll definitely have to wait and see when it comes out. I, I, I'm excited. I am very, very excited, and I want to bring more of this content to you guys, more information about this in the future. Now, if you enjoy me talking about Dune Awakening and are looking forward to this game and hype for it just as I am, don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps me out. And the more you guys interact with this video, the more people you get to watch it, the more likely I am to make more and more and more and more and more in-depth videos in regards to it. But that is what it is. So today we'll finish that off and I'll catch you all next time. Hopefully on Arrakis. Night guys. Through the dark, moonlight's dimly shadow, a shadow creeping. Feel your hearts entwining, a twisted mind, seeking prey to devour in the dead of the night. He gains more power. His bloodshot eyes, the fire burning within, a predator lurking ready to commit his sin. He moves in silence, you can't hear a sound, chasing shadows, hunting till you're found.